everyone welcome to botany insider and in this lecture we'll be dealing with one of the most important topic from the CSIR UGC net and that is apoptosis and in this lecture we'll be dealing about that what is apoptosis and what are the various steps involved in it and in the second part of this series we'll be understanding about the various mechanism by which the apoptosis occurs so this is the part one of apoptosis and in the next video we'll be dealing with the part two so let's understand about that what apoptosis is all about so first of all apoptosis could also be named as either programmed cell death or which could be abbreviated as pcd or we can also call it as cell suicide and if we look at the origin of the word apoptosis so it is from the greek words it is made up of two words the first word is apo and the second word is ptosis and apo means from and pitosis which so apoptosis in greek language means from falling so what does this mean we'll understand about this in a bit it is an energy dependent biochemical mechanism for the pcd what is pcd we have just understood that is programmed cell death so it is nothing but a energy dependent biochemical mechanism let's understand more about it so consider we have this cell this is a cell a and consider this is a cell b that we are taking into consideration so this cell have completed its life and it have performed all of its function so now this cell is supposed to die so the general mechanism by which a cell in the body dies is what is known as apoptosis but now consider the second situation that is this cell has some dna damage to it and how does the dna damage occur there could be various factors regarding that we'll be understanding about it in the next videos so in this video just understand that this cell have some dna damage to it so if this cell by identifying the body that this have go undergone some dna damage it must die so if it dies then it is that it have undergone apoptosis and there is no cancer risk but if there is dna damage and still this cell continues to divide in the body so there could at the end of the result of this cell dividing even if it have the dna damage this cell could lead to cancerous situation and what is cancer i'll be dealing about the complete cancer topic in detail in the subsequent videos itself cancer in simple word means uncontrollable growth of the cells or uncontrollable division of the cell in the body so that is what is called as cancer so this is what happens that if we have a cell and there is some unfixable dna damage in it so if it undergoes apoptosis for the body to get rid of it so there is no cancer risk but if this cell continues to divide it could lead to cancer in the future times so let's talk about the features of apoptosis now so there are various features of apoptosis the first one is that it is very complex and a sequential process that is the complete process of apoptosis is very sequential in nature it have many steps involved in it and we'll be dealing about those steps in the future slides and the next point is that it cannot be stopped once initiated that is consider we have this cell and this cell have been initiated for the process of apoptosis so once this cell have been initiated it cannot be stopped that is this cell now cannot be safeguarded from undergoing apoptosis this is the second feature third feature is that it is genetically programmed process and it occurs normally during the embryogenesis during metamorphosis and during the aging process it is a part of a developmental program in some of the organisms for example in some cases also it can occur in a predictable manner and the most common example is that in worms almost 131 cells die of 
in the process of a worm becoming an adult so in this we have predicted or we have experimentally found out that 131 cells die off as a result so this is the next point that it can occur in the predictable manner also the last point is that it also occurs as a defense mechanism for example in the immune reactions Let's talk about the physiological causes of the apoptosis. So there are various physiological causes by which the apoptosis could occur. The first one is after serving the process. That is we have this cell and this cell have undergone all of its function or all of its mechanism that it want to undergo. So now what the body would decide is that yes, this cell has completed all of its function and now it should die off. So this is the first physiological feature. The next physiological feature is that in our body we have some cells that are self-destructive. So that is also one of the cause for the apoptosis to happen. The third cause is metamorphosis and embryogenesis. That is an embryo is growing or when an embryo is developing in the mother's womb. Same is the case with metamorphosis. So what is metamorphosis? So metamorphosis is in some animals what happens is that when a young individual of that species undergoes various developmental stages, various physiological changes in order to become an adult. So those process, that complete process is given the name of metamorphosis. The fourth physiological cause is the odd cells. That is those cells that are either infectious, either cancerous or the transplanted cell. So they can also undergo apoptosis. So now let's understand about the cases of the non-apoptotic PCD that is in our body in addition to the PCD that is in addition to the natural cell death in our body we have some phenomena occurring in our body that are for sure the cell death itself but they are occurring in a non-apoptotic manner and those phenomena are named as necrosis, paraptosis and autosis. Let's understand about the necrosis first. So what is necrosis? The death of a cell or a tissue through disease or injury. In this type the cell gets injured or punctured. It causes a widespread destruction. It is a degradive process and it occurs after the cell death and the process that leads to the necrosis is given the name of oncosis. Make sure you remember about that what is oncosis. So the process that leads to necrosis is what is given the name of oncosis. So what is necrosis in simple words? So consider we have this cell and this cell have some kind of disease or injury to its structure. So now what happens is that this cell either gets injured or punctured. As a result of that, what happens is that this particular cell have to die off. So because the reason for the death of this particular cell is disease or injury, Hence, it is given the name of necrosis and because the cell undergoes puncturing or rupture, what happens is that the cellular content of this particular type of cell releases out in the surrounding and as a result, it causes a widespread destruction and also it is a degradive process. So as you can see, what is the difference between apoptosis and necrosis? So in case of necrosis, because of the cell injury, the cell ruptures and as a result, it causes the destruction to the nearby cells also. But in case of apoptosis, which is a cell suicide, the cell does not cause any destruction to the nearby cells, but it die off individually. So this is the difference between apoptosis and necrosis. The second one is paraptosis. So what is paraptosis? So in this type, the cell swells and develop large bubbles or the vacuoles with the liquid inside and it die off. It is also a method of suicide and it does not involve caspases, which is a characteristic feature of apoptosis. So what are caspases? So caspases are a type of enzymes that play a central role in the mechanism of apoptosis. We'll be dealing about caspases in detail in the next part of this video. 
so now let's understand about the third type and that is autoschist so it is a bizarre type of death the cell develops crack and these cracks are inside the cell organelles they are destroyed by some proteases that develop inside the cell and also the normal cell remain unaffected but many cells die off because of the induced apoptosis so autoschist is a type of cell death in which what happens is that because of the formation or because of the development of the cracks inside the cellular organelles the cell dies off and these cellular organelles are destroyed by the proteases enzyme and these proteases enzymes are actually developed inside the cell itself so this is about autoschist so now let's understand about the various steps of apoptosis so apoptosis in a cell is marked by well defined sequence of the morphological changes so let's first of all summarize these steps and then we'll understand about these steps in detail so we have a normal cell and then what happens is in the first step of apoptosis after this cell have been marked by the body for it to undergo apoptosis the first stage is that the cell shrinks and second important characteristic feature is that the chromatin condenses the second step is that the membrane starts to bleb out and also the organelles disintegrate in the third step what happens is that the nucleus and the organelles collapses and the membrane continues to bleb now we have the formation of the apoptotic bodies and then the macrophages phagocytosizes these apoptotic bodies and as a result there is no inflammation so now let's understand about these complete steps and then we'll be understanding about the reason that why there is no inflammation as in case of apoptosis so these are the steps first we have a normal cell and then this normal cell undergoes the cell shrinkage and chromatin condensation then we have the membrane blebbing after that we have the mem nuclear membrane collapsing and the blebbing continues then we have the formation of the apoptotic bodies and finally there occurs the lysis of the apoptotic bodies the step one is we have the normal cell and this cell is chosen for the apoptosis in the step 2 what happens is that there occurs cell shrinkage and chromatin condensation so now as a result what happens is the cell become compact the chromatin condenses the dna become fragmented also in addition we have the cell shrinkage with that we also have pycnosis and what is pycnosis so it is chromatin condensation make sure you remember about pycnosis why question have been framed directly from this tip from this point itself so make sure you remember about this term that what is pycnosis so it is one of the most characteristic feature of apoptosis that there occurs pycnosis in case of apoptosis and what is pycnosis so it is chromatin condensation so now the third step is membrane blebbing now what happens is that blebs starts to occur on the plasma membrane and there occurs separation of the cell fragments occurs in the form of small membrane bound apoptotic bodies which is given or which occurs by the help of budding and what are blebs so they are nothing but the membrane bulges so consider we have a cell and then what happens is that there starts to occur blebs all over the body of the cell this is what is known as membrane blebbing then we have step 4 in which the nuclear membrane collapses and we have continued blebbing the nuclear membrane disintegrates and there occurs blebbing in the cytoplasm also in step 5 there occurs the formation of the apoptotic body and finally the lysis of the apoptotic bodies is done and, and we are done with the complete process of apoptosis so now we have to understand about one thing that what is the change in the plasma membrane as a result of apoptosis this is a very important point to remember why direct question have been framed from this area also so the point here to remember is that the negatively charged phosphatidylserine 
flips to the outer leaflet of the plasma membrane which is normally present on the inner side and it acts as a flag so what it is all about so when we studied about the cell and all of its organelles we understood that the plasma membrane is a lipid bilayer and we have various components over it and out of the most common ones we had phosphatidyl serine being present on the inner leaflet of the plasma membrane when the body selects any particular cell for it to undergo apoptosis what happens is so we have this phosphatidyl serine initially or in the normal condition present on the inner side but after the cell has been chosen for apoptosis this phosphatidyl serine jumps to the outer side or it flips to the outer side so after the body have chosen the cell what happens is we have this condition that is we will find the phosphatidyl serine on the outer side and why it is flipped to the outer side for in order to act as as a flag that is this phosphatidyl serine would act as a flag for all the other cells so that it could be easily recognized that yes this particular cell is undergoing the apoptosis process and we need not to disturb them so it is like a do not disturbed type tag make sure you remember about this that first we have the phosphatidyl serine present initially on the inner side but when the cell is being chosen for apoptosis it gets flipped to the outer side and also it is negatively charged in nature so this was about the change in the plasma membrane one more important point to remember is that why there is no inflammatory reaction as in case of apoptosis that is we know that this cell is undergoing some death and and because it is undergoing cell death so there must be some inflammation but there is no inflammation as in case of apoptosis and there are three reasons to it and make sure you remember about this also because it is also one of the most important area to focus upon the first important reason is that there is no release of the cellular content into the surrounding as we have discussed that there occurs the formation of blebs and when the blebs formation is done these blebs are are digested so hence there is no release of the cellular content into the surrounding and hence there is no inflammation the second important reason is that these blebs or these apoptotic bodies are quickly phagotized by the surrounding cells and the third one is that the engulfing cell do not produce the anti inflammatory cytokines so what it is so when a particular cell is undergoing some unusual condition and that particular cell have to be digested so those cells produce cytokines and what are cytokines so they are nothing but a type of a chemical that are released in order to activate the immune system we will be studying about that and we would discuss about the immunology concept you need not to go into that topic just remember that because these cells do not produce any anti inflammatory cytokines hence there is no inflammatory reactions in case of apoptosis so with this we are done with the complete topic of the apoptosis and in the next video we will be dealing with the complete mechanism of apoptosis i hope this video was helpful for you and if you like this video please do like share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up very soon with more informative videos as well so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon Thank <music> you.